Spider-Man 2099 is the most, if not one of the most popular alternate versions of Spider-Man, and today I'm going to be making my very own custom Spider-Man 2099 costume. So there's a bit of controversy surrounding the Spider-Man 2099 costume, and that controversy is whether or not the costume is supposed to be black, or if it's supposed to be blue. It's, it's black. It's canonically black. The costume is canonically black, and it's been stated several times in-universe that the Spider-Man 2099 costume is supposed to be black, despite looking blue in almost every single piece of artwork it's drawn in. My dearest apologies to anybody who likes it blue and prefers it blue. I hope you can accept my apology if I proceed by making my Spider-Man 2099 design blue. Now I know some of you who prefer it black like it is in canon might be a bit confused right now, because why would I confirm that you're correct but then turn around to side with the opposition? The answer is just simply because I like it better blue myself. I think it creates a greater parallel between Spider-Man 2099 and the classic Spider-Man we all know and love. And I think simply just that the combination of blue and red is much more appealing than black and red, specifically on this design. So yeah, we're going with blue. And anybody who wants to argue with me on that can, I don't know, get angry in the comment section. I don't care. So here's the base of the 2099 design. You pretty much have every design element from the classic 2099 suit right here in flat color. We'll be editing this base to see what changes we can make to this costume before creating it. First thing I'll do is add different sections onto the costume that will be made up of different kinds of fabric that will make the suit feel more detailed and real. These colors look a bit odd right now, but just wait until you see how the fabrics actually look until you lose confidence in my design. But anyway, at this point we essentially have an accurate and slightly more fleshed out 2099 suit. But you forget that this is my redesign, and I'm going to change this suit to my liking. I'm going to be adding some red stripes to the legs of this costume, in hopes of evening out the amount of red elements all over the costume. There's some more changes I'm going to make to this suit, but you'll see them after I show you the full costume. But now that I have all the design elements mapped out, let's finally see the finished product. Hello, I hope you really like that edit. That is one of the most theatrical things I think I've ever done on this channel. So let's talk about the blue fabric that I used for the shiny sections of this suit. I wanted it to be shiny so that I could kind of hope to replicate that sort of darker feel on the suit. And I think I did that pretty well. In bad lighting, this suit looks like it's really, really dark instead of blue. I did that so I could hopefully adapt the sort of blackish, bluish look it has in the comics. And I think I did it kind of all right. In complete light it looks blue, and in bad lighting it looks black. Hopefully. Either way, I paired it with this dark Liverpool blue, and I think that also does a good job of being mistaken for black and darkness. All this paired with this really nice octagonal red fabric. I picked this pattern because something about the pattern was like, really weird and needlessly complicated. It looked like something I would see on clothing in some sort of dystopian future royalty. And I thought it'd be really cool to pick out for this sort of alienish, futuristic idea for a costume. This logo was a real pain in the ass to sew on. You can see I kind of had some trouble with it on certain parts of the suit. Like for example, on the left side of the skull. I think I did a kind of decent job. Nothing that any mediocre Spider-Man fan will notice, I think. The arm spikes are made out of a thicker foam, and they're also wrapped in the red fabric. I didn't bother covering the underside of them either since you aren't really going to see that side, and the foam is already red anyway so it won't really be that noticeable. So for now the top half is the only part of it that actually has the red fabric. Of course the leg stripes look really nice and everything. I'm really happy with how they came out, and I think it definitely did what it was supposed to do. 
which is add more red patterns onto this costume. One of my biggest problems with the 2099 suit is that it just sort of feels empty around the bottom, and I thought it would have been really easy to add some sort of red textures to the bottom of the suit to really balance it out. And I'm kind of sad I don't see much 2099 designs do that in official Spider-Man media. So I figured I'd bite the bullet and just do it myself. These lenses were made by wrapping some foam in the red fabric. I really like how they look, and I'm also happy I was able to carry over the red texture from the base part of the costume onto the mask. I'm really happy about having that texture on there. I'm also really happy with how well I was able to blend in the mesh on these lenses in with the blue fabric itself. It's really easy to miss, but if you look closely you can actually differentiate the fabric and the mesh from each other. I think one of the most controversial parts of this costume for me is kind of the shoes. I definitely want to go back and improve on these by adding more fabric paneling onto them. Of course using the similar fabrics from the rest of the costume. I really love my cape on this suit. The way the fabric looks sort of makes the cape look kind of holographic, and of course the web pattern is super bold. It's actually kind of see-through in certain angles. My only problem is that I wish it was much longer. I think something I definitely want to do in the future is go back and give this costume a way bigger cape, just to make it look more dynamic in the wind. In some of those shots in the, in the, in the sort of super cool edit I made, I forgot what to call it. You can see me struggling to get the cape to look cool in the very, very, very high winds that were going on that day. Alright, and that's pretty much everything I have to say about this suit. If this video does really well and you guys want to see more suit reviewing content from me, like specifically reviewing suits that I've made in the past, you can check out my Instagram. If you go on there and see a suit that you really, really want me to cover on this channel, make sure to run back to the comments and comment which suit you wanted me to remake. Usually the names of these suits are in the post on Instagram themselves, so make sure you check it so I know what you're talking about. And while you're on my Instagram, you should follow it. And while you're on my YouTube, you should also follow my YouTube. A lot of my Spider-Man costume making endeavors are going to be all over my Instagram stories and my Instagram page in general. So if you want to see more from me, be sure to go there. That's all from me. Be sure to tell me which costume you want me to cover from my closet. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye I did, I'm fine. I just jumped to a lower part of the roof. Bro, y'all probably think you caught my suicide on camera, goddammit.